All right. Jesus Christ. I'm not religious though, but anyways, um, it's me, Raven, coach of the Destined Lucarios, and I am here for uh, the SSDL Season 1 Finals. So, if you don't already know, I'm in the finals, and my opponent, Orange, Jesus Christ, we both made it to the finals, and uh, you know, it's crazy though. We both fought very hard to get to this point. He had to upset some of the top seeds of, uh, of this season to make it here. I had to come all the way from wildcard, uh, face the top seed in um, the other division, and face a matchup that, like matchups that I already lost, actually. And um, yeah, let me just pull up my team builder for this one. Um, so for this match, damn, last time I faced him, I died a lot to hazards and that wasn't fun. So um, I actually brought defoggers this time. But first off, um, I have Manaphy back again. I think this is the same set. It's for sure the same Eevee spread, special defensive. Manaphy with energy ball, surf, and rest talk for uh, Salizer, Salazzle. Um, Swampert and kind of Greninja so I got that going on um, energy ball you know hit the water types um, surf hit Salazzle like the thing that sucks about this set is I have nothing to hit Latias with this set so uh, yeah that's not gonna be fun but that's fine because I have other Pokemon on my team that can cover for it anyways winter elf Manaphy was the first pick for the season for my team and um yeah like there were games where he put in work there were games where um manaphy didn't put in work but um hopefully hopefully you'll see manaphy doing some big stuff anyways the next mon i got is uh lukey's kfc you know gotta represent lukey and um i got motris i originally didn't want to bring motris i wanted to bring like girder or um what was that dumb thing i wanted I don't remember, Girder or something else, but um, Moltres is here because um, I look at my team, I realize I don't want to be swept by Ninetales, and um, he's probably not going to bring HP Rock on Ninetales, but like I gotta get covered, because um, Max Attack Timid Alolan Ninetales with HP Rock does about 30 something percent to this set, so that's cool. Um, it also kind of eats up hits from Alolan Sand Slash. Unless it's banded, unless it's banded, unless it got rock slide, cause um yeah it's not taking physical rock moves at all. So I got flamethrower here, you know, take on the nine tails. Um, roost heal up, defog for um, aurora veil maybe spikes. I originally had HP grass, but I felt like I don't need that because I have Manaphy and I got this thing for Greninja as well. So U turn. Because like if I switch this thing into Scissor, he stays in. He's probably not gonna stay in because like he does have a tendency to um what what you call it over predict in a sense. So like I catch him on the switch out, I U-turn, get that good chip, and I get momentum. So I felt that was pretty good. Um, my next mod is uh, the Gardevoir Thanks Set. So I named this thing Thanks Set because um, initially I wanted to make a Sableye, but he sniped me. He set sniped me and um, I obviously had to pick another mega and this was the thing that I want to have as my backup because um, who's switching into hyper voices like they get two code they get two code man um this time I brought well last time I didn't have speed I had max modest max HP I think this time around I got some funky EV spread tank up hits from nine tails from laddie ass better um this amount Allows me to two co Alolan Sand Slash. Um, I mean, I also have I also have HP Fire for um, his Steel types. Hyper Voice, you already know. I'm trying to get that damage in on that Laddie ass. Oh yo, you know what would have been scary? Like a Calm Mind Laddie ass. That would have been scary. Like I was worried about Calm Mind and Toxic on that Laddie ass. And um, yeah, you'll just you'll just see what he does. Next Mon, I got T P P. Type. No, Jesus Christ, I can't say this guy's name with a straight face because 
every time we do those recaps, he always slows down when he says TPP. <laughs> and Jesus Christ, alright. But anyways, I got TPP here. Um, U-turn to get momentum, you know, chip off that laddie ass and stuff. Do uh, big damage to Gren, Big Daddy Gren. And um, for this one, I was, I was debating between Flame Charge and HP Fire. HP Fire obviously does more to like Alolan Sand Slash and Scissors. But Flame Charge does more to Ninetales, and uh, Ninetales sets up Veil and stuff, and it also has Nasty Plot too. And uh, yeah, under Veil, I mean, well, while it's setting up, HP Fire wouldn't do as much as Flame Charge, so I thought I would bring that. Obviously, I brought Rest Talk, you know, like I usually do, um, try to heal up on this boy. And um, my next mon, Redemption. Redemption, Redemption. I named this. Um, mainly after Kurama, I didn't want to like name it Kurama Slayer or something like that because like I thought that would be like, you know, that'd be too much over the board. But Redemption here, again, like I said earlier, it got that defog because last time I got wrecked by Hazards from his team, from Orange's team. I got Stealth Rock trying to, uh, you know, chip down the Nine Tails. Just extra chip in general is pretty decent. Originally I had U-Turn or Tailwind. But I thought like rocks would be more consistent for this game. I also have Roost, you know, to heal up. Very crucial. And uh, Earthquake, just to get as much damage as it can on like a scissor or something, you know? If it's Bandit Scissor, all right, all right, I'm taking it. Because he probably wouldn't be able to heal up. Anyways, um, yeah, honestly, um, I thought he wouldn't bring like an Ice Beam Latias. So like I originally wanted this to be more special defensive, but like I kind of want this thing to switch into like scissors and stuff in case Latias did have Ice Beam. Um, yeah, and that's that. So we got our last mon, Wind's Bead back again. So in the regular season, you already know I keep losing with Wind's Beads, but yo, playoff coming playoffs time. This thing was clutch against Kurama. I originally had this for um, Orange's Conkelder. And uh, if he doesn't bring it, I can switch this into Scissor, and uh, I can switch this into Sand Slash. It actually takes an Earthquack. Earthquack? What am I saying? An Earthquake from Alolan Sand Slash if it's not Bandit or anything. So obviously Pain Split to heal up, HP Fire for um, everything else. I didn't want to bring Scald because like, if I do burn Latias or something, maybe he has Psycho Shift again. And I don't want him psycho shifting like a type null or a flicker, you know what I mean? Um, like I said, I originally had this for Conkelder, so I brought Whirlpool Destiny Bond to try and trap that thing and uh, take, it, take it out with me. And um, yeah, that's pretty much my team. So let me get to the battle right here, actually. Oh my goodness. I still have this. So, damn, it was hard, kind of hard to decide to leave. And um, oh, speaking of which, he was live commentating this, so I haven't checked that out yet. But oh man, that would be so exciting! Please check that out. I will link his channel in the description. So again, um, looking at leads, I thought you know he'd probably lead Scissor or Swampert, Swampert for rocks. Uh, he could lead Gren, and I thought you know the best thing to do was lead Manaphy because even if he does lead Scissor, I can go into Moltres. If he leads something else, I got something to come in. You know what I mean? Damn, I'm so into this. So let me hit play right here. So like I said, I lead Manaphy and uh, he leads Gren, but here I thought he was gonna spike or switch out to Latias or Scissor. And uh, he decides to go for a Dark Pulse. I'm like, damn, what are you doing, boy? As he reveals the Life Orb and uh, I kill it with Energy Ball. Um, crit mattered, crit actually mattered, um, during the game, I thought it didn't matter, but, um, yeah, it definitely mattered, cause I knocked down one of the biggest, the biggest MVPs against me in, um, the last matchup I had with Orange, I was like, damn, yo, this is going okay, this is going okay, so he obviously brings in the ass, hopefully not, you know, toxic, he's not toxic. And uh, here I was really debating on the HP fire. I was debating so hard. I could have knocked something out too. But I thought after the first turn play, he would, um, you know, try to stay in. Because um, 
yeah, like, what was there to risk? Well, <laughs> Latias, of course, but... Yeah, anyways, um, he also didn't mega with Latias during the turn he used Thunderbolt. He makes a good play to switch to Scissor, the TPP Slayer. And, um, he makes a great double as I go back to this thing. And, uh, he shows Reflect type. So, the thing with Reflect... Man! I can't speak, but the thing with reflect type is um, it copies my typing and it also means I can't uh, straight up oko this thing. So like as you can see here, as he roosts, I hyper voice, it does 50. That's because it lost its weakness boy. But anyways, yeah, there was nothing I could do. Like, I mean nothing else, because I could just spam that thing, hope for a crit, right? That's how it kind of works. And um, he switches into Scissor. I'm thinking he might roost. He doesn't roost, boy. Oh my goodness. And he gets burnt too by the flame body. Originally, I had this thing for nine tails. And uh, I'm just gonna U-turn because I thought he was gonna turn out. And uh, I bring Manaphy, Manaphy here again. And uh, I thought he was gonna go Latias, but he goes to Kunkelder. And um, stupid me, I didn't calc that. I didn't know that it was AV at the time, and that comes in later in this game. So here I'ma play Wind Beads. Y'all know my switch into Kong. And that does a clean seven. I am nearly at full still. That is insane. So I whirlpool here. And I know obviously this thing is gonna roost up. So too bad I don't got spikes on this thing, but um it's gonna roost up, free switch in, and uh Hyper voice knocks something out. Yo, he sacked off the scissors. So I'm like, this is good shit. Like, I thought he maybe would have went Swampert. I thought maybe Alolan Ninetales. But, like, I knew he was losing something. Something was going down. So scissor goes down. Kind of smart on his part. Because, like, it wasn't really doing much. And uh, here he reveals the Scarf Swampert. Like, I had enough speed to, um... Wait, did I? Yeah, I had enough speed to outspeed an Alolan Sand Slash, Timid, and a Scissor, Timid, Timid. So, like, I'm not that slow, and this thing is originally slow, so, like, it has to be Scarf. Like, look at this thing, 240? It ain't faster than 250. So, um, I switch in. That was a good play on his part, because I thought he was going to Stealth Rocks, you know? And, uh, I just turn out. I just turn out. I'm glad he switched out there. And I go Quillfish, and I Whirlpool. And I miss, and uh, it goes downhill from here because like I kind of sacked this thing off by accident. Um, especially since I got switch ins, and um, I was just thrown off that my guard was at low HP, you know. So like, um, yeah, he he started off on a bad foot, but like I'm doing some plays here where I'm like, crap, I misplayed too. <laughs> so um, yeah, there's that. And uh, type null, I just turn out. But can't really do much. I really can't do much. So, what's my plan here? I get up rocks, get the chip, I roost. Yeah, this this doesn't turn out good. Because, like, my plan here <laughs> is to um outlast this thing. You know, I always say outlast and outlast. But, like, I'm not blasting this thing at all. So, I bring Type Null here again. Try to get health back. It can't get crit because of its amazing amazing ability it says immunity but like that's not its ability its ability is battle armor so um i go back to glicker hoping he doesn't crit he doesn't get high rolls and um that keeps on happening for a while so like i'm gonna skip the turn he finally switches out to this thing i roost and i believe i eq here that's a decent amount of damage as he poison jabs um i'm not sure what he was predicting I'm really not sure what he was predicting there. Um, probably Moltres. I thought like maybe. I don't. I don't even know. I thought he was gonna ice punch or like fighting move for sure. So I earthquake again. Crucial, crucial. And uh, here's ice punch. Um, I could have roosted. To be fair, I could have roosted, and I did roost. Good on me, cause like I know I take that shit. So here I roost again, thinking he might psychic, and um. You already know the win con, unfortunately. Um, he switches into this thing. He flings his choice scarf, which is good on his part, because like this thing really didn't need the scarf on. Um, Might have been useful, but like it's dead. It's dead, boy. Um, 
Yeah, and this thing just tanked the superpower. That's freaking crazy. So I stay in here um, to sleep talk, thinking. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't remember. I was thinking I could get off a flame charge or like a U turn. He shows off the Z hypnosis. And here I'm like, okay, he doesn't have HP rock properly. So I just straight up flamethrower. I could have just turned the freaking shit out. I could have just turned out, man. <laughs> Why didn't I turn out? But it's fine, it's fine. So I go back to my Titan all. It's taking 14. It's taking 14, boy. So he roosts up. Obviously, I can rest up again. Um, yeah, and here's Conkelder. Sleep talk. No. Oh, yeah, I didn't decide to click sleep talk there because I thought I could outstall him anyways. So he goes in. I go into Manaphy as he uh, plays with that Conkelder. I skip turn by accident. And he shows the drain punch. You know what? Good on his part. I wanted to sack guard there. Honestly, it would have sped up the game. But um, here, I surf. And um, that's when I realized it was a V. And uh, I could have realized that a lot sooner. That's my bad. But damn. Because I thought I was going to 2 cool that thing. Anyways, I had to make some risky plays. Because he's probably good. Um... And the thing with him is, he didn't really bring Flame Orb, Guts, Conkelder a lot this season. Which could have been a monster, you know what I'm saying? Like, it busts through a lot of mons. Like, Quillfish? Even Quillfish get busted down by this. So, I thought he might have Thunder Punch. Um, I know after the game, he said he had Earthquake as his fourth move, not Mac Punch. And I'm like, well, damn. Um, he was trying to bluff the Mac Punch, obviously. But he said, like... Damn, I, I should've brought the rock slide. I mean, that's true, he should've brought the rock slide. But here he gets the high roll on Gligger, and I'm praying. I am praying, boy. So my prayers have been working. I do get the one roost stop. That's all I needed, even though he does get the drop. So I go into my type null here. It's fine, type null eats that. And do I sleep talk? I believe so. Yes, and I get a rest, which is all right. He stays in. And uh, I just flame charge. <laughs> crit flame charge did eight but um yeah i can't really do much here yo i didn't see the parrot this <laughs> i did not see the parrot during the game but i gotta rest up because like in case he switches out or something you know I'm, I'm not taking that and i crit again somehow i did not realize that um so actually now that i look back at this thing this was such a bulky ass laddie ass like damn did he not have well, he has to have some speed, but like it was probably crept or something. Anyways, I gotta go into this thing. He doesn't have the psychic type, so it's not doing as much damage, obviously. And uh, I didn't. Did I catch him on the switch out or not this turn? No, 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 no. I was playing. I was trying to bluff that shit. Um, our PB stall, I mean. Moonblast drops my special attack, doesn't matter. And um, here, getting chipped down. He, he reveals the nasty plot. He do got it. That was good prep on his part, actually. The nasty plot. Because he knows um this thing would have just stayed in and tanked all hits from this thing. So, uh, for, of course, I got a flame charge. And uh, here, I'm hoping he misses the hypnosis. He doesn't miss it. Yo, you, you know what would have been flex? If I just sleep talk that turn. But, like, I'm not about that. So, here I sleep talk this turn. Hoping not to get rest. Unless he was modest, it wouldn't have died. But um, maybe he was modest, cause like, I know my team's slow. He know my team's slow. But um, yeah, that actually did more than I calced for too. So it was probably modest. Anyways, I turn out as I'm on one friggin' HP. Yo, this playoffs, I've been on tight situations the whole time. So here, it, it knocks out nine tails and um, I gotta outstall this thing. Outlast and outblast. So it kind of gets stally from this point on. I'm just spamming stealth rocks and stuff. Um, is this a turn where I catched his Kung Kilder? I think this was a turn. I caught his Kung Kilder on this turn. So not looking hot for my boy Orange here. You know what I mean? So like that's just how it is. So the next few turns is basically a stall battle. Um, and yeah, that that's pretty much how it ends. I, I'm, I'm sorry for the anti-climatic finals like obviously if i had gardevoir um not take the earthquake it would have been a lot faster this game because like it would have showed up 
it would have been the MVP too, like probably the the playoffs MVP. But um, yeah, it, that was good play on his part for the Swamper. Um, meaning that I had to, you know, be in this situation where I have to PB stall this thing. You know, not the best way to win. Not like I'm not super proud about that. But like a win's a win. Um, damn. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't even speak. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, that was the finals. <laughs> like, I just won the season, you know? You know what I mean? And after this game two, like, TBP was telling me that could have been a 6 0 too. <laughs> that, that's insane. 6 0 in the finals. A potential 6 0 in the finals. But, anyways, um, my opponent, Orange, he's been playing his heart out this season. Like, he got clutch games against the number one seed. The number one like coach of the season probably too um i mean for sure number one coach of the season he took him down for me which made my matchup easier in the finals but like obviously he's a super hard opponent too like you see coming from such a trash regular season record against all these top knocks and i make it through from the wild card seed to the final that that is insane what what that is insane and like wow i i'm just taking this all in man but anyways um great season from everyone i didn't have the best season but like as you can see i did come in clutch at the end which is insane which is insane like i am lost for words guys but yeah anyways that is the final game for the SSDL season one and um, there will be a season two and we'll be back so um, yeah anyways I want <laughs> I want please check out oranges side of the video you know stay supporting leave a like subscribe leave a comment down below and I will check you guys later peace